now. I made this artwork. Its name is Headless. I call it Headless Consciousness. I don't know if that's like the forever name I'll give it. Um, I always say I don't have much to say about an artwork, but I just don't know what to say. So in this one, the imagery, let's talk about that. Uh, there's a heart and a brain, and I call it Headless Consciousness. Hmm. I guess it's this question of like the hard question of consciousness which is like does the consciousness create the mind or the mind create consciousness or does the consciousness and the outside world have any connection or whatsoever I don't know um, I don't think we're supposed to know but we keep thinking about it and I keep reading about it I can't help myself but not to read about it I don't know why but um, when I was in 12 hours of philosophy, it's a uh, one night of the year, uh, Brooklyn Public Library stays open throughout the night and the lectures that go on in every room and it's one of my favorite uh, days of the year. <laughs> uh, I've been going uh, for the past like three years or so ever since I found it and while I was there I met this guy while I was waiting on a line uh, to get into Kafka's Metamorphosis as we thought it was Kafka's Metamorphosis so we started to talk about Kafka's Metamorphosis uh, and I posed this question to him the hard question of consciousness and his answer was uh, headless conscious the, the, it's like and his viewpoint I mean I don't remember what he said exactly but he said something about headless consciousness and I thought if I were to if the human was to be stripped of the skin what would be left behind that's a really stupid question I don't know as human beings we have language and it's so limited that we can only ask stupid questions but it's okay Questions are questions. Anyways, um, I have no idea what I'm saying. So, have a good day. Enjoy your life. Bye!